Well, congratulations. How are you feeling after that win? I'm feeling on top of the world. And um, one thing I needed to say inside of the cage is all glory goes to God, our, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. How did you feel about your performance overall? I feel great about it. I feel like I did. I executed exactly the way I wanted to and the way my coaches and my, my corners wanted me to. Um, I was following direction very well, um, and it led to the victory. How important was it for you to get a win this first fight of the new year? It was extremely important. I, I tried not to put that kind of pressure on myself. I tried not to really think too much about it, um, just kind of get quiet, lock in on my way to the cage. I wasn't jumping around. I wasn't really here to have fun. I was here for one reason, that's to win. I got my, um, my the whole team back home at Elevate watching me. Um, all my my team at Gracie Baja Jacksonville. I had my, my family, my parents waiting for me back at the hotel. So um, I didn't let them down. It's been a little bit since we've seen you. Can you talk to me about the, the mental kind of uh, struggle that you had to, to go through during that time off? You know, a loss is never easy to take, um, but can do one of two things from it. you can either quit or you can learn from it and I feel like I've I've learned from my lot my my past defeats you know I lost to D-Rod I lost to Trevin Giles um, and my coaches my coach professor Roberto Quartero saw the adjustments that needed to be made and he encouraged me and he told me what I need to do and gave me pretty much guided me how to improve in the areas that I needed to improve which were my explosiveness my working at a range, um, my flow grappling, just a little bit of everything. So I have the best support system that I could, anyone could ask for. Was there anything in the fight that surprised you, either something your opponent did or something even within yourself? How tough that dude was. You know, his arm popped in the arm bar, his arm popped in the Kimura. Ten seconds left, I'm raining down shots and raining down elbows, and I can see, I can't see his eyes because there's blood all in him, and he's still telling me to bring it. Um, just... It's a tough guy right there. Um, I, was, I was tired. My shin was hurting. Um, so there's no quit in me either, but that guy is, is super tough. So um, I didn't really surprise myself because I, I know what I'm capable of. Um, I train every single day of my life, literally. So I, I, I know what my abilities are. Um, you never really know what your opponent's abilities are until you actually get to feel him firsthand. So um, I definitely uh, was more – shocked by him more so than myself. And we couldn't hear it back here, so I don't know if you called anybody out, but is there a game plan as far as when you want to fight again or who you'd like to fight? Um, I don't really have a specific guy that I would like to fight. Obviously, I would like to fight up. I want to fight the tough guys. I believe that I have what it takes to be the welterweight champion, so I want to fight the whatever guys would lead me to that title fight. Um, but no, I don't have a specific person in mind. Um, Maybe after this fight, I can sit down and look at the, the roster and try to look for an opponent. But I'm, I'm not picking and choosing opponents. So again, I'm 2-2 I'm two and two in the UFC. I'm going to take what they give me. And hopefully, it's a guy that's ranked higher than me so I can get take their number. And so I'm very happy that I fought at the beginning of this year. That way, I can hopefully get two or three more in before the end of the year, maybe even four. And I know it seems so early to be talking about this, but it's the beginning of the year. How do you see yourself ending the year? What are your goals for the year? My goals for the year is get three to four victories, um, start 2025 with a, a number next to my name. Thank you. So over here, for you, what does it mean to represent Duval on this big stage? Oh, it, it's huge. Um, there's, there's a lot of us, or there's five of us now from Jacksonville that have made it to the UFC. Trey Waters, Stephen Coslow, Ramon Tavares, myself, Austin Lane, um, and they were all going to get there regardless, but I'm very proud to say that I'm the first one from Jacksonville to make it to the UFC. That's awesome. And obviously, speaking of Ramon Tavares, he fights next week. So how do you see his fight going? I see Ramon putting the hands on him. Um, he's very talented. I train with the guy. Um, he's got a strong work ethic. He shows up to our shark tanks. He shows up whenever I ask him to be there to train. Um, I, I, I see him getting his hand raised. And I'm assuming you want to be on the next Jacksonville card whenever they go uh, back. Yes, I would love to. Awesome. Congratulations. Thanks, sir.